All right. You, you ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. <clears throat> Pose. Hey, everyone. This is Jay Todd coming to you from the Casual Connect Conference in Seattle, Washington. And here's what's happening. Hashavuaba Gaming. Hashavuaba Zwebi? No, this week in gaming. That's what I said, but you said. Hashavuaba Gaming. Hashibushibaba. No, I said it in Chinese. It's not Chinese. No, it's Hebrew. Hebrew. This week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hello friends and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from the Casual Connect Gaming Conference in Seattle, Washington. Some of you very observant, astute people out there may have noticed that there was no show last week. I uh, wanted to take a minute up front and address that because it was uh, an unscheduled week vacation for me. Uh, apparently, uh, I had a minor heart attack. Yeah, uh, here's the story in a nutshell. I, I woke up Monday uh, feeling not so good. Uh, I, I went to make myself breakfast, and I had my usual fried bacon and cheese sandwich with mozzarella sticks and a sweet roll on the side, and, and washed it all down with a Mountain Dew. And for some reason, that didn't really help me feel any better. When the jaw pain and the, the shooting sensation in my left arm began, uh, I decided maybe those were uh, things that needed me to go to the emergency room. Uh, that and uh, I, I couldn't breathe very well. Long story short, I, I go into the ER and they tell me, J. Todd, you've, you've had a minor heart attack. Okay, I, I can live with that, I, I think. <laughs> so. They, they put an old stint in, and uh, now my whole lifestyle has changed. I, I can't eat the mozzarella sticks anymore. I, I, I can't have the uh, pound of bacon for dinner. But uh, a lifestyle change is okay, because you can't have a lifestyle change if you don't have a life, right? So anyway, I came down to the old Casual Connect conference this week. I, I'm, I'm recovered. I feel good. Medications have me a little tired, but... But I owe a show to you guys. So we're going to have an interview in just a minute. We're going to take a look around the event. Uh, but uh, right now, let's, uh, let's take our break. And uh, when we come back, a surprise interview you're not going to want to miss. Follow us on Twitter for breaking industry news, real-time updates, and new videos. Visit twitter.com slash twigfeed. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messing with Sasquatch. Hey, hey, dude! Jack Link's Jerky. Feed your wild side. Welcome back. As I mentioned before the break, uh, I'm down here at the Casual Connect Gaming Conference in Seattle. And, and this conference has nothing to do with casino style games. No slots, no poker. I mean, there are gaming companies that offer that, but primarily this is about social games, peer-to-peer -peer games. And, and I'm here because I want you guys to, to get a sense of what's happening in gaming. 
in gambling. These, these things are, are growing together with mobile and, and, and social sites. It, it, there's going to come a day, mark my words, where players in America will be able to take money from their poker account at some place like Caesars online and then use that money to perhaps apply it to purchasing crops in Farmville. I'm telling you, the day is coming. That's why this show looks at all different aspects of gaming and gambling, because my friends, we all know there's crossover and we all know this is the future of gaming. To that end, I interviewed Play Jam Games earlier today about this very subject, some exciting things coming online for them. This is what they had to say. Hello friends, Jay Todd here at Casual Connect in Seattle, where I've connected with Anthony from Play Jam. Play Jam. Play Jam Games. Thank you so much for, for coming out. You know, if, 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 if you're a player out there and you haven't heard of them, then I, I guess you haven't been looking in the right places because they've been around for 10 years. And they traditionally haven't offered, say, casino-style games like maybe you're used to playing, but let's, let's admit it, we all play the social gaming and the casual games as well. So, Anthony, would you enlighten our players out there who may be watching this and hearing about your company for the first time about what you do? Sure, so we uh, have operated games platforms on TVs for uh, a good 10, 11 years, predominantly on pay TV originally. Um, but with the emergence of smart TV technology uh, over the last two years, we've been focused on that. We've launched uh, a uh, PlayJam Games platform, uh, which enables developers to take their content, uh, integrate with our APIs, add uh, social features such as leaderboards, such as billing, monetize that content globally, and then publish that across the PlayJam network. Uh, across smart TVs globally. We have agreements in place with uh, the top four manufacturers, so that's Sony, Panasonic, LG, uh, and Samsung, uh, as well as people like Western Digital, Vestel, Google TV, etc. So we have a massive footprint. Um, it's, we believe, the next mobile. Uh, there's about 150 to 200 million devices shipping every year. So from a platform, from a footprint perspective, this is a, a pretty exciting play. Uh, and we're pretty much the only people doing that across all of these major brands. So it's a pretty exciting time for us. You guys are hiring? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, not that I'm not going anywhere, don't worry. Listen, you were telling me before we came on camera that September of this year, you guys got a major rollout coming and something that might interest my casino players. Yeah, indeed. So up until now, the TVs have been supporting pretty light content, AS2 content. But from uh, September, we're launching on LG and Samsung our AS3 version 2 of our platform, which will support branded content. And we're working with some pretty cool people. We've got um, Slingo uh, on board, and we've got Governor of Poker coming out in September as well. So we, we expect to have a, a pretty good following on both those titles. Okay, so uh, you mentioned uh, you know co-branding and stuff like that, or branded uh, branded uh, opportunities. If, if someone out there is developing a game, or maybe they think, hey, you know what, this is a great idea. How can I get in on it from a, from a business to business perspective? Could they contact you guys? Absolutely, we're looking for developers the whole time. If you want to be famous, you want to get your game on TV, uh, then you all you have to do is look for us online. It's PlayJam.com. Uh, fill out the form, join our developer SDK uh, program, and uh, we'd be happy to help you get your game on TV. Excellent. One more thing. If you're a player and you're thinking, well, well, damn, I want to I want to try this. Can't go online and do it. Correct. Where would they where would a player find your games? No, sure. Play jams on TV. So if you have a connected TV, you want to launch the interactive services, uh, for example, on Samsung, that's the smart hub button. Look for games and we're right there in the first line of the game section. Launch our channel. And we've got we'll, we've got a few games in there now, but we expect to ramp that up pretty significantly over the coming months. Thank you so much, Anthony. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you. That's why they call it stink bait.